when you read Psalm 139 verse 14, you will find that the Bible says that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are his works. This is the definition of God for me. And I believe it is true. If you move forward to Genesis 1 verse 27, the Bible says, I am created in the image of God. I believe that there is one race and that race is called the human race. There may be many ethnicities created by God. There may be many uh, races created by God. But regardless of the race and whatever else, we are all God's image. This God knows me so well that he even knows the very hairs on my head. Now, why would I doubt what he says about me? Why would I even dare listen to opinions of other humans about me? Because this God made me. This God is my manufacturer. Whatever he says I am, then true I am. Now, if you move to Matthew 10, verse 31, the Bible is very clear to say, I am more valuable than many sparrows. Yes, to my God, I matter. Yes, to my Creator, I am indeed of value. Yes, to my Creator, I am of value more than many sparrows. So God's definition of me is definitely true. Now, as we move forward to Genesis 1 verse 26, the Bible says that I have dominion over all sheep, oxen, all beasts of the field, and birds of the heavens, and fish of the sea. In my own capacity, according to my God's definition, I am possessed by the highest power, and that highest power possessing me gives me dominion over all things created by the very same God. Why then should I doubt what he says about me? Because what he says about me is definitely true. Now, every other opinion by fellow humans doesn't matter to me or to you because God's definition of me and you is definitely true. He is my maker from inception to birth to death and even after. He is Alpha and Omega and his knowledge is limitless. As you may read in Proverbs 21 verse 30, the Bible says, There is no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel against the Lord. What does that mean? It means that whatever he says is true, is true. Every day the enemy may try to steal your identity, your contentment in what has already been ordained by God in form of every opinion coming from our fellow humans. But what we should know is that is this, that God's definition of us, God's definition of me and you is true and stand on that truth. As I conclude, why God's word should be my final authority or your final authority because he made you and he made me. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he knows me and you better than anybody. And for that reason, we must believe.